If everybody is using the same large language model, the juice went away when all of a sudden everybody else was high frequency trading. You'll see the alpha, if you find alpha with a particular model, you'll see that decay. But what can you do about it? Build uh, specialized models. Question goes directly to, you know, is it a time to be a small desk and, and, and to what extent does this level the playing field? I'd say it's, it's an immense leveler. Um, it's a terrific time to be a small group. I think this is the time where as a retail trader or somebody in a smaller firm, it's been very hard and very expensive to find some sort of new data that no one else is using. And I think now we're seeing a lot of this with AI. You can take data sources, put it in, have it summarized for you, convert it into a tabular format, and then go through a modeling process with it. So it gives you a little bit of an edge there. Uh, how do you see AI, particularly Gen AI and advanced ML? impacting alpha discovery for smaller trading desks. Can it realistically help uh, level the playing field against large institutions? If everybody is using the same large language model, uh, you know, in the, in the same way, you know, in the, when I showed the uh, high frequency trading, you know, essentially the, the juice went away when all of a sudden everybody else was high frequency trading. You'll see the alpha, um, if, if you find alpha with a particular model, um, you'll see that decay. Uh, what can you do about it? Well, um, build uh, specialized models uh, that uh, uh, are informed with particular types of languages or, well, uh, um, literally different languages. <laughs> you know, I think there's some, uh, probably uh, a lot on the table in, uh, markets that aren't as large as the United States um, because uh, and also the um, uh, social media in you know specific languages in those countries and so on uh, I think there's a there's a strong you know a lot left there and the insight here you know the, something to build on is what advantage might I have in building such a model and you know in other words just in, instead of just using open AI build a model specific to the market and specific to the industry that, that you're looking uh, to, to profit in. And they don't necessarily have to be huge models for what it's worth. I think well, generative AI is, uh, of course, these subjects are becoming very large, uh, more general as we as progress goes on. So there are the number of tasks that uh, you can uh, see the generative AI doing is it, always increasing. Um, at the moment, I what what I imagine and what I see that is it's some it's there are tools which are very useful in in uh, for I would see rather on a discretionary trading desk generally speaking it, they provide a lot of ease in accessing information summarizing information uh, extracting also you know, information from a, lar a large number of sources um, in terms of, and uh, and also producing some context which are, can be used by the trader. Uh, they can be very useful also in uh, giving a boost in coding. So relatively small uh, companies and trading guests can become competitive on some aspects of, of trading. Um, regarding uh, systematic trading, uh, yes, of course, there is some possibilities of enhancing the uh, capacity of coding and, uh, and the interpretation of data. Uh, there is an issue of replicability on what your algorithm does and also explainability. So I would be more cautious there, I'm not saying that you cannot do it in the future. I'm just saying it's, a, it's a something where I would go more cautious about. I think there's probably three to five funds right now that are trying hard to reinvent alpha generation from the ground up and think about LLMs as kind of a, a primary construct. Um, and certainly I'm happy to be one of them. I'm not the only one. Uh, there are some people who are very well backed and very much bought into this. Um, you know, it's uh, your question goes directly to, you know, is it a time to be a small desk and, and, and to what extent does this level the playing field? I'd say it's it's an immense leveler. Um, it's a terrific time to be a small group, um, especially if you have sort of the green field and the ability to reinvent the investment process um, as you go about it. You know, in, if you think about trading, it's just essentially the, the gathering of information, the processing of it, the reasoning about it, the making of, you know, sensible prediction prime time to be there right now because a lot of the big funds you can pick out the big names in the hedge fund world have been touting about alternative data for the last 10 15 years now i think this is the time where as a retail trader or somebody even a smaller firm 
it's been very hard and very expensive to find some sort of new data that no one else is using. And I think now we're seeing a lot of this with AI. You can take data sources, put it in, have it summarized for you, convert it into a tabular format, and then go through a modeling process with it. So it gives you a little bit of an edge there. Um, quality, though, is the hard part, right? If you're going to be processing large amounts of data, you have to have some sort of reasonable process to go back through that and check for quality. Um, again, I think using more of a standard approach in the modeling space kind of helps offset any sort of overfitting you'll see, though. As a society and as firms and as an industry, uh, technology increasing, I think it's getting better. But I think we will not see necessarily too much deviation. You'll have new fir firms come in, you'll see great success, you'll see firms drop out. Um, but I think everyone's kind of adapting across the board. And as we open source things and as things are provided across you know, different funds, we'll continue to see kind of advancements as a whole, but I don't think we'll see a lot of separation between, you know, I don't know, small firms, big firms, anything like that. I think it'll be kind of a, you know, a kind of a constant movement as society and an industry as a whole. I mean, we'll, I'm just hoping that they will see that there'll be a uh, significant uh, leveling of the playing fields for some new entrants coming in for uh, how we start up with a quant strategy to start up with anything to do with quant. Uh, I don't I don't think uh, the bigger firms will have an edge, at least in the uh, low to medium frequency uh, strategy space.